Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's subject is from solid state physics and the topic is solid. Here we will discuss about the what is the meaning of the solid, what is crystalline solid, what is amorphous solid, etc. Its meaning, definition. Let's, let's start this one. The solid state physics, the first one that is your crystal structure. In this uh, subject, we will read about the uh, solid. So, the first thing is that actually there are four states of matter. There are four states of matter, generally, of matter. Uh, that is your solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Actually, there are four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas and plasma. So, first we will read what is the meaning of solid. So, first we will come to the things, so what is the meaning of solid. Solid, it has a definite shape, it has the definite shape and fixed volume. The solid has the definite shape and fixed form. So, then we will come to liquid gas and plasma later on. So, actually, how we classify this one? First, we will come to the sketch diagram of this one. The solid, these are divided into two parts. One is crystalline, another is amorphous. amorphous crystallines these crystallines are again amorphous solid and crystalline solid so again these crystallines they are again further divided into four parts what are they these are ionic Ionic solid, second one, molecular solid, the third one, covalent solid, and again the last one, the metallic solid, the metallic solid. These are the four different types of the crystalline solid. Then we will come to the second one that is your amorphous. So, amorphous, so first we will discuss about the crystalline solid. What is crystalline solid? The crystalline solid, what is the difference between crystalline solid and amorphous? This is this one has that regular and definite regular and repeated geometry patterns. This one, like crystalline solid. So, we will come to the first again. So, first we will come to the part one, the crystalline solid. What is crystalline solid? Actually, this is the three things are there. They have the definite, definite, regular, and repeated geometrical pattern. And repeated geometric pattern. These are the definite regular and repeated geometric pattern which is called a crystalline solid. So, and this should be in this definite regular and repeated geometric pattern will be in three, three dimensional network. So, what are the examples for this one? There are so many examples for the crystalline solid. We are taking the rock, 
then salt quartz then we have mica sugar mica sugar so these are the different types of the crystalline solid so as i have told you the crystalline solid we have divided into four the four parts so from the fourth part the first one will come that is your ionic solid ionic solid what is ionic solid so here we have to uh, know that what is ionic solid and what are the attractive force responsible for that particular crystalline solid so ionic solid it consists of oppositely positive oppositely charged ions it contain the oppositely charged ions ionic solid these are oppositely charged ions consisting of and actually they are the positive cations cations positive and anions negative so when in the solid there is a positive charge and negative charge present this is called ionic solid so the force which is responsible to held together that is your electrostatic force electrostatic force is responsible for that ionic solid this is the second one we'll come to the second one that is your for example this one for this one which one as example example for this one that is ionic solid uh, that is your sodium chloride nacl then ammonium nitrite nh4no3 sodium chloride ammonium it is sodium chloride ammonium nitrite this one second one will come to the second one that is your molecular solids molecular solids what is molecular solids here it uh, consisting of molecules like it is oppositely charged and it is consist of the molecules consisting molecules consisting molecules this is called your molecular solids so for which one force is responsible for this one these are the we have now the molecular solids they have classified again into three categories first second and third first one is non polar molecular non polar molecular solids then polar molecular solids then the third one that is your hydrogen bonded molecular solids hydrogen bonded solids so this is the three categories molecular non polar molecular solids actually which one this contains the non polar molecules like the hydrogen then chlorine etc and the force responsible for this one is your weak van der waals forces weak van der waal forces weak van der waal forces are responsible here polar molecules this is containing the polar molecules like hcl so2 etc so here the force responsible is your strong dipole force strong 
dipole force this force is responsible hydrogen bonded solid here uh, it consists of the examples it has the your ns3 and hydrogen chloride these are the examples and here the force responsible is hydrogen bond due to strong hydrogen bond hydrogen bond this force is responsible here weak van der waal forces here the strong dipole forces here the hydrogen bond so these are the different types of molecular forces so now come to the third one and third one is the covalent solids the third one c covalent solid what is covalent solid actually this covalent solid consists of same or different elements consisting same or same or different elements different elements this is consist of same or different elements and they are connected by connected by connected by the covalent bonds covalent covalent bonds covalent bonds is responsible for them the last one so example for this one uh that is your uh, diamond graphite diamond the strong one graphite the like diamond graphite and silicon carbide silicon carbide so these are the example for the covalent solid the it is held by the covalent bonds now the last one the d that is a metallic solid metallic solid this metallic solid this is also valence solid also called the network solid also called the network solid the metallic solids actually this contains the metal consisting metal consisting metal and uh, the attractive force is specifically for this one is metallic bond uh, metallic bond is responsible force uh, metallic bond due to the metallic bond this is the force that is responsible for that the the positively charged metal ion so example for this one this is your different types of metallic so they have the metal those who have the metal they are called the example the different types of metals we are taking like that iron zinc these are the metallic solids the second part of the solid that is called your amorphous solid so what is amorphous solid yeah the constituent atoms of solid the constituents atoms of solid not arranged in not arranging definite geometrical pattern definite geometrical pattern they are not any definite geometrical pattern, but arranged in random manner but arranged in a random manner 
they are random manner and they have not arranged in definite geometrical pattern so example for this one the glass cement polymer rubber this is an example for the plastics many plastic also come in this group many plastic also comes in the group amorphosities so this is the clear structure of the different types of solids